Okay, so here we are again, the MSI from the previous post. Uh, we're just going to quickly go over, I, I mentioned this in the MSI uh, GS66 Stealth video, that we'd uh, take it apart, um, add a hard drive, a new M2 solid state from Western Digital, and then upgrade the RAM real quick. Um, it's not a full teardown and, and, and upgrade, um, it's basically just to kind of get you comfortable with the parts and pieces that you'll need um, in order to do that. So. If you've got a precision toolkit, which is essentially really tiny um, screwdriver and Phillips and flathead, um, you'll be able to do it. Notice how I'm putting the screws um, in coordination with the holes that are on the back plane of the MSI laptop. It'll speed up really quick. So every screw I put near the hole that it came out of to not confuse it, in this instant, instance, um, most of them are all the same length, so it won't matter except for the front piece. And I take it apart and I switch to a flat head and I gently prop the underside of the back plane as to not leave any scratches that are visible and just kind of carefully prop the back plane open extremely slowly, putting almost no pressure, almost no pressure on this as I just literally just pull the screwdriver downward not out, careful not to bend the back plane, which is extremely fragile aluminum. So it won't come completely off, but this is the inside of your MSI. The reason it won't come completely off is it has a factory seal on it, which is a really strong piece of tape, essentially holding the back plane on. But it's enough for you to pull open and access basically the two components that we're looking at today, which is of course upgrading the RAM from uh, 16 to 64 gig and then adding this Western Digital Black terabyte solid state M2 drive. So here we see the, the RAM. Essentially, it, this is really easy, guys. Just I'm doing this one handed with a camera in my hand. Flip it out, thing pops out. Do that twice because there's obviously two, bl two banks for the hard drive RAM. Um, watch me struggle to put this in one handed, of course, as I kind of hold that open with my hand to try to get the camera carefully positioned here. Yes, I should be wearing white gloves. Yes, I should be doing all kinds of fun stuff. But at the end of the day, it's not terribly important to just push RAM in and then snap it shut. That's that's it. Take your new RAM, take the old out, it pings out. Grab your new RAM, put it in, do that on two sides. I only show one side in this video. The other one is basically unscrewing the screw there and sliding in that M2 hard drive. And it'll be blank when you get it. So that's that's it. This is not rocket science it, by any stretch of the imagination. So clear your clear your clean surface out of the way so you don't scratch the top of the lid. So nice white clean background. And basically, I would actually consider the hardest part snapping the back plane back in. Um, so I actually start at the factory seal side and then work my way forward. And I gently, oh so gently, push this thing closed. Um, until I get to the end here. Now, it is such a precision fit, such an extreme precision fit, the likes I've never seen Dell do, that I actually have to come back in here with my uh, Phillips flathead and bend the side plane out ever so slightly to get the back plane back in. So here's where I take the screwdriver. I basically just move it that half millimeter. Watch me do it again here. Boom, snap in, snap in. Move that side plane in while I'm pushing down on the back plane to snap the back plane back in. That is how tight this is. I would say it's measured in less than millimeters. And then check it all the way around, make sure everything pops and snaps. You should hear a whole bunch of snaps and pops back in. And once you once you look it over look it over a little bit, you'll see that it's in. And then now that you've coordinated your screws, it's as easy as just taking all those screws and putting them right back in. There are a lot of screws on this um, as far as laptops go. Um, so just basically put them back in. I'll speed up uh, a little bit here, but <clears throat> that's mostly it. We'll just snap those all back into the holes, screw them all down, and then we're done. Let's boot it back up and then essentially check everything. We've got our hard drive in. Windows E brings up that, right click, 64 gig, awesome, we're done.
Hey, just want to share with you all uh, the skin kit I got from Decal Girl at SkinKits.com. Hey, I'm going to cut this out. Um, it's 15 by 10, but I'm going to cut it down to my screen size. I've actually made a custom skin for my laptop lid for Architect Machine. So I'm just going to leave this out here and have you guys check it out. Awesome. Like and subscribe.